that made them famous. Track each star's schedule with an interactive calendar. Learn more about your favorite star with in-depth articles, trivia, and fun facts. Gaze at video clips and trailers. Howard, I swear to you, I did not write this letter. And grab our embeddable widget, the TCM Poster Viewer, featuring radiant images and video of each day's star that you can place on sites like MySpace or Facebook. And be sure to enter the Summer Under the Stars sweepstakes for your chance to win six classic posters with a modern twist. You'll find all this and more celestial delights at tcm.com summer. Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. 24 hours a day, Turner Classic Movies offers access to the greatest films of Hollywood and from around the world. And you should never be in the dark as to what's playing on TCM at any given moment. What you need is our terrific viewer's guide called Now Playing. To order your subscription, simply visit our award-winning website at tcm.com or call 1-800-TCM-1002. For just $12.95, 12 issues of Now Playing can become your guide to the greatest movies of all time from Turner Classic Movies. Chandler, where's your hat? off in the middle of a shift and you will never guard again anywhere anytime
comes a time when every organization the size of the one that envelops us must have a change. I draw the line at assassination. Because of our long association, I will overlook the nefarious melodrama implied by that remark. But don't overreach yourself, my friend. If I've overreached myself, would I be here now? Not that here is very much or very far. My intent is to lure our esteemed leader from the east, where he's too solidly entrenched, and taking advantage of a more liberal environment, persuade him to relinquish control. I know his successor. Oh, you know his successor. Mm -hmm. And I'm to provide the bait to lure him. <laughs> I have the bait. What I want from you, my friend, is a patsy. A man who will ensure that our decoy remains just that, without being aware of it. Now, do you have such a man? I might. I just might. Chandler, you're alive. Yeah. And still here, Bernie. I got a job for you. Sure. I do. Sure. There's a female arriving tomorrow morning by train. 7.48 a.m. Caucasian, French, brown hair, height five feet three and a quarter, weight 103 pounds, appendix scar. Mm. Who does your research? Name Catherine Creighton. She painted the picture. You got shakes, Bernie. What's the pitch? No pitch. She's some sort of a material witness the government wants us to keep a track on. Right now, we're short of manpower. And if I told you everything, it'd spoil the fun. You're my friend. That's no reason. I gave you your first break. Besides, you're the type. I don't want it. I'm not interested. Think it over. Let me know. I was asking you to help me. Remember, 7.48 a.m., Union Station. Give me a call. Keep your office ready, so when you want to reopen it. On a case now, huh? Old clothes and playing it back. <laughs> That's action. Rudy, 
You must be kidding. You owe me. Hello, Leo. How you keep it? For heaven's sake, it's 6 a.m. You got my gun, Leo. Come back at 9 when we open and get it. I'm pressed, Leo. OK, OK. Take it easy. We'll find it. <laughs> you look great, Leo. Thank you. Long time no see. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> ah. Ah, he won, huh? No. No. Yeah, that's it. 38 Smith and Weston. There's a case that goes with it. Days it's all cameras, recorders, TVs, all made in Japan. Huh. So it is I. Here's one to try. You and Vince are about the same size. Thanks. You men are such idiots, always working the same line. You have to go to school, change with the times, adapt. Look at Vince. He was retired, and he went back to work. And what did he get? Five to ten years in San Quentin. We do what we have to do. How much more time's he got? Four years, two months, and eight days. I don't have time to hold. I can't call by. Just tell him Chandler called from Union Station. C H A N D L E R, as in Raymond. Thank you. 
Yeah, that's fine. Okay. He's on it. He just checked in at the office. Most circumspect, my dear fellow. Uh, you'll do nicely. I'll observe him personally at a suitable distance. I am confident he will serve our purpose admirably. What kind of a bribe did you give Miss Creighton? <laughs> bribe, my dear fellow, please. Catherine Creighton is a thoroughly respectable young lady, even though she has been maintained for some years by our esteemed leader. But fortunately for us, she now wants out. And surreptitiously, I am providing her with the means to accomplish her objective. Knowing that he'll try to stop her. Precisely, my dear fellow, precisely. He is emotionally involved, as they say. But of equal importance, the young lady knows too much. And anyone who knows too much is dangerous to everyone. As I'm sure you understand. Yes, the uh, pattern is fairly clear. Jesus. <laughs> What's the matter, Zeno? You think I'm one of your stiffs come back to life? Oh, no jokes, please. I can't stand it. Guys like me live forever, you all know that. You know, Chandler, I could do my best work on you. You're never gonna get me, Zeno. <laughs> You're such a kick. Come on in. You know, it's funny you coming along just now. Look who came in yesterday. <laughs> Pretty sad looking. Puss Waldron, remember? Half brother to Harry Jones. The little guy who got himself cyanided, you remember? The pickpocket. The very same. <laughs> Greased lightning. Psst. Oh, he was fast and slick. Oh, he was a great little guy. It's a shame he never made the big time. Of course, he 
he was in on the knockover of the seaman outfit. Now, there was an outfit. Tell me about your dirty rackets. What do you mean? The girl. Who is she? Who? Come on, you weren't pushing drugs on her. Oh, you mean the one who just left here? Yeah. Oh, she's hot. You think she was on drugs? You know she might have been. Hot to who? Chandler, I don't ask questions. I sell ideas, destinations, and occasionally I do a little John Hancocking as a sideline. Then I pancake them like puss here, and that's all. What name did you give her? Pettibone. Jessica Pettibone. On her? I don't like it. Well, I didn't like it much either, but I had no time. They only contacted me last night. Who put in the call? Oh, some real nag. A female with a foul mouth and a disposition to match. Funny. That voice used to do tricks for Uncle Sam. May still. Anybody that knows you, you know, is no innocent. <laughs> how true, how true. But I'm fair and impartial, and my services are available to everybody. And of course, you're an exception. Yes, I was the best. Shooting the angles, juggling them around, and making them work. Well, times have changed. Things are different. Chandler. She's got money and a ticket to Monterey. Monterey, huh? With the phone's orders. Yes. Yes, I'm working on it. You told me that before. I've located her and she'll be returned. I've given you my word. Don't threaten me. I said I'd have it done. That's all there is to it. I'll handle it. Yes, I'll let you know. Cheryl. Get me the file on Northern California, Bill. Kincaid, Monterey. Yes. You have a sketch pad, too. What are you drawing? I'm Bender Ranson. I'm a lock specialist. <laughs> My job is to keep people safe, and here I am on a train, can you imagine? <laughs> I didn't even know they still existed. <laughs> shy type. I guess it's none of your business. I guess so. What brand of cigarette is that, Galois? 
school was. Oh, les enfants du paradis. I bet you wore braces when you were a kid, too. Oh, get lost. You forgot that. How about lunch? See a family traveling together. Hello, sweetheart. Got to take a picture here of this family. Uh -huh. Take a smile now. I think that's right. Thank you. I'd certainly like to see the rest of your portfolio. What are you, really? I'm a relic. I can see that. What do you do? I guarded computers. I was a certified rent -a -cop. It's a scenic job. You clock in and clock out. I got tired. Thought I'd go up to San Quentin and strap myself in an electric chair. Except it's in Quentin, it's a gas chamber. Right. Nothing ever works out. <laughs> of course not. How about you? I'm just a wayward Catholic searching for a final resting place. That's all. That's all. Chandler. What can I do for you, Angel? How do you know my name? That my name was Angel. Angel Carter. No fooling. I brought you expense money, a room reservation, and... Whose idea was this? Bernie Oakman's. Follow 
of your damn business. You're a popular guy. I don't care what happened, Waxhall, or how you couldn't prevent it from happening. I told you to get her and bring her back. Untouched. And that means by you as well as anybody else. Hold on. Hello. Bob, uh, can you call back in half an hour? No, better make it an hour. Good, and you? Fine. Looking forward to talking to you. Right. Now, is all that clear? No excuses whatsoever. I'll be expecting to hear from you before the day is out. I don't care how late.
What do you want? I was just admiring your work. That's nothing new. I've heard your art lecture before. Oh. Guns. Go ahead. Do it. So it goes that far, huh? That far. What do you want? Hmm. Can you tell me about it? Oh, there's not much to tell. I lived with a man and then I left him. He said he loved me. What about your uh, taxi cab friend? <laughs> Mr. Wexwell. He was hired to bring me back. I mean, fellow, who else loves you? No one, except you, whoever you are. A detective. If I told these people they'd believe that, you must be kidding. All right, I'm kidding. You're not kidding. Well, detective, I'm thirsty. Like his eyes. It's dark. Who 
can see eyes. You mind? It takes only a minute. And of course, it's in color. Remember me? Yeah, the train. Right you are. Ross J. Comedy at your service, sir. This place is getting crowded. Oh, Mickey Mouse says time's up. Huh? Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Poor lighting, but what wonderful. Take a look at it. May I have a cola, please? Your companion is indeed a woman, a cornucopia of delight. Such fine features, the line of the neck all. I don't think I care to be priced limb by limb. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you. You two gentlemen discuss big business. Ladies' room. Be back. Now that we've gotten over the giggles and the phony pictures, you're a government. You're doing just fine. Quite justifying the nature and the melodrama your formal career. Look we'll over there. She can take care of herself. My congratulations. She certainly can take care of herself. Chandler, I don't believe it. Must be, how long has it been? About that. Yeah. You're looking great, man. You're looking great. Welcome to the den of iniquity. <laughs> yeah. I saw those guys trying to muscle in on you there, huh? Yeah, well, them. Yeah. But you missed the number one. Charles Ken K. Leaving with a girl. Just now, right? some smoke. Around here, you name it, he runs it. Above the line and below the line, including funerals. Very thorough funerals. K-I-N-C-A-I-D. Kincaid. What do you mean he won't answer? Try it again, operator. Mr. Melchior! It's Mr. Kincaid. Yes. Yes, uh, all right. Good, Chuck. I'll come out. No, there's no need for that. Uh, well, all right, thanks. Yes. Oh, 
All right, goodbye. Goodbye. They've got her. I'm going out and bring her back. Going out there could be dangerous. Anything is dangerous. Bingo. He's coming. <laughs> That's understandable. <laughs> Well, you first, my friend. So the object of our little game is at last fried loose. Your promotion is underway, Chuck. It shouldn't be any trouble at all. God, look at that slight. I can handle him. But why use her? Why don't you just do it? Chuck, we have your position to maintain. We mustn't lose its cover. That would be unwise. And here your control of their association lets us make arrangements without any interference. And the young lady is an attractive and perfect wedge to get Mr. Melchior out here. All safety precautions for the disposal of the rather unusual goods. Then you're on your way to replacing them in the national hierarchy. You understand that, Chad? Huh? in my room. Sure, okay. Listen to me. You keep disappearing. It. Start getting intimate with that crap. Oh, forget it. Tell me what happened. Waxwell. Find me. A lot of phone calls. Why me? Why not? Thanks. It was here. He was there? Yes, here. might have. Perhaps I would have. But I didn't. Does it matter? You ever see a man die? Yes. You ever see a man shot? Yes. Well, you were right. Primeval gray matter. About this chunk. Mr. Waxwell's gonna be missing 30 points of IQ. 
It takes a lot of caliber to do that. I don't understand it. I don't see the connection. Explain it. Waxwell was sent by John Melchior to get me back after I left him. He wrote to others who dropped out of nowhere. Tried to convince me that I needed safe custody. I don't know how they found me. Why did you leave, Catherine? I've changed, that's all. At 19, I was alone here, and John seemed everything. He cared, and I needed that. And I loved him. Of course, there was the luxury he offered, too. Now I'm older. And to be a pupil, it isn't enough. I had to get out. No good at all. The association said I knew intimate things about Ron Melchior, which of course I do. To them, I'm a threat. But I won't spill. Everybody wants to squeeze me. Even you. I'm not even going to try. All I want to do is get you away from here. Shut. You understand your position? That's right, Smoke. Whatever I say. Can't hot wire you, car.
lot of gas. are my bloodstream. How about your love life? <laughs> what was her name? Her name? I don't remember. Like hell you don't. All right, then. I remember. the whole history? No. My mother had an ivory radio in the kitchen window. She hummed to it, and she fixed dinner. Hmm. And you were hiding somewhere in the apron about knee high. Hmm? About that. Why did she hum? That's it. I'll pass on the rest. Of it. Las Vegas closed down by strike. York City Harbor closed down by strike. In Arizona, a man of 25 goes berserk and slays his family of four. The war goes on. What war? The Second World War. Too. So what? So what? So plenty. Oh, Chandler, Chandler. Tough guys can get so monotonous. You 
still think you can get away. How silly. Hurt her. Of course she was covered on the train, I know that. I had no choice. I can be overridden. You were the decoy. You were computed as a type that would grandstand, blow cover, and snatch the girl. They knew that. You were watched right from the beginning. I don't understand. They were looking for bigger meat, or so they said. While you were making an ass of yourself, they were working behind the scenes. They? They? Who are they? The government. And a girl in the train station up there. Angel. Who? Oh, yes, Miss Carter. Just a government employee. Career girl, I believe. Where is she? Here, L.A. Western Exterminating Company. Does she know? Where the girl is? I don't know. Anyway, what's the difference? It's all over. No. You did this to me, Bernie. And you took it. You knew as well as I did right then that something stank. Unless you're a hell of a lot stupider than I taught you. So go take your self-righteousness elsewhere. I'm not immortal. It's Angel Carter, please. This office, sir. Thank you. Do you have an appointment, sir? Sir? Sir. Where is she? I don't have anything to say to you. I don't have time for that. Get out. Leave me alone. I just don't have the time. You, you call Zeno. You call the mortician. You did that, didn't you? Huh? Yes, Ben. Go ahead. Emancipated women are such a pain in the ass. Where? Kincaid's Hotel. Kincaid's in the government? Yes, yes. How about that? I want to help you. You never gave me a chance. You never even looked at me. You won't make it. When you walk out that door, you've committed suicide. Don't be stupid. They've been planning this for years. You can't stop it.
Won't you excuse us? John, come into my office. You can freshen up there. Personally, I regret it. Drink, John? But the girl was determined, and one man got unnecessarily rough. I don't know, Chuck. You're supposed to be good. You're slated to move up. So I am personally involved. She means something. John, I, I think it's a mistake to get involved like that. It's an unhealthy relationship. It's bad for business. It is. Who was with her at the time? A nobody. Never mind him. What about the government? The government? Yes. Waxwell said the government was around. Waxwell I was a meat hacker. I got him killed. He was a nobody. Why would the government be interested in one cheap girl, anyway? Well, no offense. But if they were after something, it would be bigger than that. Waxwell knew what he saw. He may have been hopelessly promiscuous, but he had a good eye. He was straight. And who killed him? Catherine? Come on, it was either you or somebody else. Why you, and who else is there? Think about that, smooth one. the question. What's your rationalization? I came because I had to. See that? Know what that is? That's keratosis. That's what they call that. Multiplying brown spots. I'm not used to this aging process. Who is? I don't believe I know your name. There he is, John. May I talk to you for a moment? There's someone you have to meet. the 
detective. Monkey-faced detective. Here? Yes, here. <laughs> Good for him. An annoying individual. Well, the arrival of another catalyst, our equation changes. Zip your fly, Chuck. We've got business. Kinky's lying. If so, why? For what reason? Before you ever called him, he knew who I was. It can't be. It's true. You mean because things got out of hand? Oh, all that doesn't matter, not really. What they did to me. I live. strong. It's no good. Catherine. Downstairs, check the cars. They mustn't get off the lot. Right.
this is it. Mr. Melchior will follow Mr. Chandler and the young lady, and we will follow Mr. Melchior. Sir, Ralph Morgana at your service. Want some gasoline in your machine? A map of California. California. I'll put some gasoline in your machine. Better for World War One, you know. Got a mark on it. Kincaid moves up and takes over, right? The government running Iraq is very clever. So all the time I was running, they knew exactly what I was? Sure. They were straining you until they were ready. We've been had, honey. What can we do? I don't know. Nothing. Something.
I'm hungry. Today on TCM's Summer Under the Stars, a new day begins with Sidney Poitier on the hunt for a precious bell and the long ships. Then Poitier makes great music with Paul Newman in Paris Blues. And psychiatrist Sidney recalls a dangerous former patient in Pressure Point. TCM won't put any pressure on you today.